New South Wales is recruiting. In this video, I'm going to show you 11 jobs that are available right now online for international doctors to apply for. Hey there, I'm Anthony. I'm the career doctor. I help you manage your medical career here on YouTube. This video is for any international doctor who might be wanting to apply for a job here in Australia either via the standard pathway or the competent authority pathway. What I'm going to do is show you 11 jobs that I found within five minutes online on the New South Wales eRecruit website that are open right now, uh, which will accept applications from international doctors. And it's going to be a key learning point here in this video. So watch through to the end for that important message. So I'm here on the New South Wales Health uh, e-recruitment site. This is the central portal for all jobs in New South Wales. You don't need to go to all the local health service sites. They're all centralised here. Uh, there are other places like Victoria where you might have to hunt around other health services, but in New South Wales and most of the states, you just go to the central portal and they're all here. I've just had a quick look through the 52 jobs for trainee doctors that are available uh, up at the moment. It literally took me five minutes to identify 11 positions and we're going to have a look at the first one now. So we have a trainee in the mid-north coast at the Coffs Harbour Hospital in emergency medicine. And you'll see my process here is to scroll all the way down to the bottom and look at the selection criteria. And we can see here that this position is eligible with someone who uh, has a degree in medicine and is currently registered or eligible for registration with the medical board. You will need a minimum two years postgraduate experience with which most of the people I uh, talk to have got uh, and they're also wanting some previous experience in the emergency department. So that's job number one. Job number two, this is at the Illawarra Shoalhaven Local Health District in Wollongong. It's in obstetrics and gynecology. I am going to skip right down to the bottom again and you'll see here that again you need a medical degree or equivalent, MBBS or equivalent, and to be currently registered or eligible for registration with the Medical Board of Australia. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, sorry, down the bottom, minimum two years postgraduate experience. And I'd like someone with at least six months experience in obstetrics uh, in, and gy gynecology. Uh, so, job number three. A senior resident medical officer here in uh, Camden and Campbelltown Hospitals in Sydney in general medicine. Skipping all the way down the bottom to review the, the selection criteria. MBBS or equivalent currently registered or eligible for registration with the medical board. Again, with a minimum two years postgraduate clinic experience. This one, uh, and they're starting to get a little bit tricky here with some of these uh, criteria. You have to have at least one year experience working as a medical officer in the Australian health system. So that may not be for many of you. That's job number three. Job number four is in Southwest Sydney Local Health District, again at Camden and Campbelltown Hospitals, uh, same location in obstetrics. Uh, again, MBBS or equivalent currently registered or eligible for registration with the medical board, minimum three years postgraduate experience in obstetrics and gynecology. However, you do not, like the other position description, have to have had experiences of working in, as a medical officer in the Australian health system. So that's probably one that's particularly good for anyone who's uh, trained and worked in obstetrics and gynecology, either in a common authority country or you've got your AMC part one and you're coming through the standard pathway. Job number four. Job number five, the Central Coast Local Health District uh, and uh, I'm really impressed with their recruitment approach. You'll see why in a sec. They even have some YouTube videos to tell you about their career opportunities and um, they're quite uh, good productions. Check them out uh, if you're interested in working on the coast. Oh, sorry, I skipped the title there. So this is for general medicine at the Wyong Hospital, resident medical officer or registrar. Again, MBBS or equivalent, currently registered or eligible for registration with the Medical Board of Australia. And the thing that makes me even more impressed with their approach here is they've even spelled out the criteria or if you're coming through the Australian, New Zealand Common Authority System, or the standard pathway here, they want someone uh, with a minimum of three postgraduate years or more in acute hospital setting uh, and a few other things. So again, you will need to met those criteria as well. 
So that's job number five. Job number six uh, is also from the Central Coast. Uh, this is uh, just a resident medical officer position. And skipping all the way down the bottom, again, MBS or, or equivalent, currently registered or eligible for registration. And again, you've got the criteria there for if you're a competent authority candidate or a standard pathway candidate. Again, they want a minimum of two years postgraduate or more as a medical officer. The job number seven, uh, again, on the Central Coast, this time in my area of psychiatry as a resident medical officer or registrar. Uh, and you need a MBBS or equivalent, currently registered or eligible for registration. And again, the same criteria uh, there uh, under the Commodore Authority pathway or the standard pathway. Interestingly, they don't seem to want any experience in psychiatry here, but just two years postgraduate uh in an acute hospital setting for a minimum of 12 months out of the past two years so a lot of them are really focusing in on this recency of practice question uh or issue and people ask me about this they seem to be being uh overlooked for job interviews on the basis that they don't have recency of practice look the only solution to that is if you're finding that's a barrier for you you may actually have to go back to your own country and get some of that recency of practice so that's job number seven Job number eight uh, in New South Wales Health, uh, John Hunter Laboratory. Uh, so this is Newcastle uh, in genetic pathology. Now this might be a little bit niche. Uh, however, if we skip down to the bottom here again, MBBS or equivalent currently registered or eligible for registration with the Medical Board of Australia. Uh, and you have to be interested in genetics. Job number nine, so this is at Westmead and this is in medical administration. It's an accredited training position, so you might have to ask a few questions about this. But again, MBBS or equivalent, uh, registered or eligible for registration with the Medical Board of Australia. You do have to be eligible for RACMA training, so that may uh, exclude some or a lot of candidates. Job number 10. Resident medical officer at the Tweed Hospital on the northern New South Wales uh, coast. Uh, again, skipping down the bottom, MBBS or equivalent, currently registered or eligible for registration. Now, this one again gives some specifics about what the type of other experience you need. So, so you need an Australian PGY3 or equivalent. Uh, and here they say, as determined by AMC Competent Authority Pathway. I don't like this approach, to, to be honest. I think this is being a little bit tricky with it all. Uh, what I take from that is that they are basically happy to accept someone who's PGY3 postgraduate year three in Australia or has done the same in a competent authority country, but they're not interested in someone who can demonstrate uh, similar experience in another jurisdiction, which I just actually think is wrong because we're talking about experience, not about capability and whether you can do the job. But anyway, that's number 10. And then finally, number 11, again, Tweed Hospital in Emergency Medicine, Resident Medical Officer or Registrar. Down the bottom, MBBS or equivalent, currently registered or eligible for registration with the Medical Board. Here they want significant experience, PGY4 plus in Australian Emergency Department or equivalent, again, as defined by the Competent Authority Pathway. So that, that will probably, I think, definitely exclude anyone on the standard pathway. But if you're in emergency medicine or critical care medicine trainee from a Competent Authority Pathway, well, that one would be suitable for you. Okay, so there you go. 11 jobs available right now that will accept uh, candidates who are international doctors who are not yet registered here in Australia. What was that key message that I was talking to you about at the start of the video? So that key message was that with all of those jobs, the words eligible for registration occurred in the selection criteria. You need to be looking for positions where that key phrase is listed. If you see phrases like currently registered or registered with the Medical Board of Australia, they just won't accept you. You will, of course, then have to go and review the other selection criteria, but save yourself some time and find jobs with that key term, eligible for registration. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.